Hey, my name is Jacob Kulik from the band Kulik, and today I'm going to tell you a little story about Vanellope, the first time we got her, and what happened the first tour that we took her on, which was for uh, a tour that we opened for Andy Black and the Fame, and we basically had to go from the East Coast to the West Coast in four days in order to make it to Sacramento, because that's where the tour started. I just got uh, some tour support from the label, so I kind of decided, you know, do you spend the 15 grand on nice hotels and, you know, other stuff that doesn't really matter, <laughs> or do you just buy a tour van so that you can do this the rest of your life? So we bought a van. This is it. This is Penelope. This is a Ford Transit, and. We basically left, everything was brand new, everything was perfect, we made sure there was like an oil change and tires, new tires, everything. Keith looked at it, the drummer, the band, and he's a pretty good car, so I trusted him, and what, what I'm about to tell you that happened is not his fault at all. <laughs> so basically we started driving, it was pretty smooth, we made it a couple states, and Keith was driving, and he's known to be a bit of a... Uh, clown, uh, goofball in the band, if you will, where he's very cry wolf. I thought messing around, saying that he can't really turn the wheel, it's starting to not really work. And I was like, yeah, whatever, you're completely kidding. And I was like in the passenger seat trying to move the wheel with him. I'm like, I can, I can move it, you're, you're lying. So he eventually pulled over and I started driving. And I thought it was fine for about five minutes and then I started to notice that it definitely was starting to not turn. So. We had to take it to a, a Ford dealership. We were in Omaha, Nebraska, and it turned out the steering wheel column went, <laughs> and we just spent 15 grand on the van, so I was really nervous about how to pay for it and what to do. I called my managers and asked what they think I should do, and they said to throw it on a credit card because we have to get it fixed and we have to get to Sacramento, and we're on a time schedule here, so. We were stuck at the dealership, so there was a guy at the dealership that worked there and he offered us a ride to an Airbnb that we booked. So he gave us a ride and we were just sitting in his pickup truck, all of us, our book bags and suitcases and everything. And uh, His name was Kelly and it was super fun doing that and he was, uh, you know, a real like, good sport for doing that. And we stayed in Omaha for two I think days two days maybe waiting for that to get fixed and it eventually was fixed and the dealership paid for it because we basically just bought the van so they did that I was very appreciative of that we were back out on the road and going and we did make it to Sacramento on time it was not the last issue we had with the van the sliding door that you saw in the beginning also was uh, a bit of an issue where the latch broke and Jerome had to hold that shut <laughs> but we made it we got to do our first ever U.S. and Canada tour, and I wouldn't trade it for the world, and I still have my Vanellope, and that is my crazy tour story for a digital tour bus.